A very pleasant good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome once again to big stone television as you know the journey continues of those great icons slash legend those who have gone before and those who are still here with us today today ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna dedicate this tribute to my friend Hyroy Collins and Raymond Austin. I just want to say I also want to dedicate this tribute to one of the greatest Guyanese mother that ever lived. We're talking about Norma, Constance, Reed, Austin, Collins. May your soul rest in peace. Today, we're going to be talking about a great famous Guyanese born, a man that took Guyana to the four corners of the earth. We're going to be talking about Edmund Montague Grant. He was born on the 5th of March, 1948. He's a Guyanese British singer, songwriter, and multi-instrumentalist is popularly known as Eddie Grant. Known for his genre blending sound, his music is blending elements of pop, British rock, soul funk, reggae, electronic music, African polyrhythms, and Latin music genres such as samba, among many others. In addition to this, he also helped to pioneer the genre of ring bang. He was a founding member of the Equals, one of the United Kingdom's first racially integrated pop groups. His subsequent solo career included the 1982 song, I Don't Wanna Dance, plus the platinum 1983 single, Electric Avenue, which is his biggest international hit. He earned a Grammy nomination for the song. He's also well known for the anti-apartheid 1988 song, Give Me Hope, Joanna. Grant was born in Plaisance, British Guyana, later moving to Linden. His father, Patrick, was a trumpeter who played in Nello and the Luckies. 
While at school, his parents lived and worked in the United Kingdom, sending back money for his education. In 1960, he emigrated to join his parents in London. He lived in Kentish Town and went to school at the Auckland Berkeley Secondary Modern at Tufnell Park, where he learned to read and write music. He became a big fan of Chuck Berry and after seeing him play at the Finsbury Park Astoria, decided on a career in music. In 1965, Grant formed The Equals, playing guitar and singing background vocals, and the band had two hit albums and a minor hit with the singles I Get So Excited, before having a number one hit in 1968 with his song Baby Come Back. The tune also topped the UK singles chart in 1994, when covered by Pat O'Banton, featuring Robin and Ali Campbell of the reggae group UB40. The equals had five further top 40 hits in the UK up to the end of 1970. The Baby Come Back album featured a song by Grand titled Police On My Back, which was recorded by The Clash for the 1980 album Sandinista. Willie Nile released his version of Police On My Back on the Streets of New York CD. The equal song Green Light, co-written by Grant from the 1968 album Supreme, was recorded by the Detroit Cobras for the 2007 album Tide and True. In this period, he also worked as a songwriter and producer for other artists, including the Pyramids, producing their debut single, Train Tour to Rainbow City, and Prince Buster, for whom he wrote Rough Rider, and started the Torpedo record label, releasing British-made reggae singles. On the 1st of January, 1971, Grant suffered a heart attack and collapsed lungs, leading to his departure from the Equals to concentrate on production, opening his own coach house studio in the grounds of his Stamford Hill home in 1972, and started Ice Records in 1974, initially distributed by Pi Records and later by Virgin Records. He produced The Pioneers, 1976 album, Feel the Rhythm, as well as early recording by his younger brother, Rudy, working under the name The Mexicano. During this time, he also branded out of music, learning to tap dance, and, and subsequently trying his hand at acting at the BS of fellow Guyanese immigrant actor Norman Beaton. A self-titled solo album released in 1975 made little impact, as did the proto-soaker Message Man, completed and released in 1977, and which Grant played all the instruments himself. His breakthrough as a solo artist came two years later with the album Walking on Sunshine, which spawned the UK Top 20 hit living on the front line. He returned to the charts in 1980 with a top 10 hit, Do You Feel My Love? The opening track of Can't Get Enough, the 1981 album, giving him his first entry in the UK album's chart. The album included two further hit singles, Can't Get Enough of You and I Love You, Yes, I Love You. From 1982 onwards, Grant was based in Barbados, where he opened his Blue Wave Studios. The same year releasing his most successful album, Killer on the Rampage, which included his two biggest solo hits, I Don't Wanna Dance, which spent three weeks at number one in the UK, and Electric Avenue, which reached number two in both the UK and the US. He also began producing and promoting local artists such as David Rudder, Mighty Gabby, Tamu Hebert, and Griner. A lean period followed 
1984 title song for the movie, Romance in the Stone, was cut from the film and stalled outside the UK Top 50 when released as a single, although it fared better in the US and Canada. His albums Going for Broke 1984, Born Tough 1987, and File Under Rock 1988 failed to chart and produce no further eight singles. Grant participated in Prince Edward's charity television special, The Grand Knockout Tournament, in 1987. Grant returned to the charts in 1988 with the anti-apartheid single, Give Me Hope, Joanna, a number seven hit in the UK. The song was banned by the South African government. In the late 1980s, he pursued other business interests, including music publishing and a nightclub and built up the success of his Blue Wave studio, which was used by the Rolling Stones, Sting, Cliff Richard and Elvis Costello. Grant continued releasing albums in the 1990s, including Barefoot Soldier 1990, Paintings of the Soul 1992, Soka Baptism 1993, and Arts and Diamonds 1999. In 1994, he introduced a new genre, Ring Bang, at the Barbados Crap Over Festival. Grant said of Ring Bang, what Ring Bang seeks to do is to envelop all the rhythms that have originated from Africa so that they can become one, define all geographical boundaries. In 2000, he organized the Ringback Celebration Festival in Tobago. In 2001, a remix of Electric Avenue reached number five in the UK and an attendant Greatest Hits album reached number three in that country. In 2004, Grant created a song for the yogurt-based drink, Yap, to the tune of Gimme Hope, Joanna. In 2006, Grant released the album Reparation. In 2008, he performed at Nelson Mandela 90th birthday concert and also played several dates in the UK, including the Glastonbury Festival. In 2016, it was announced that Grant would receive a Lifetime Achievement Award from the government of Guyana. He was previously honored with a postage stamp featuring his likeness and ring bang logo by the Guyana Post Office Corporation in 2005. In 2021, Grant sued the former US President Donald Trump and his administration over the use of his hit Electric Avenue in a 2020 advertisement. These are just some of the many albums that Eddie Grant have. Eddie Grant, 1975. Message Man, 1977, Walking in Sunshine, 1979, Love in Exile, 1980, Can't Get Enough, 1981, Killer on the Rampage, 1982, Going for Broke, 1984, Born Tough, 1986, File on the Rock, 1988, Barefoot Soldier, 1990, Paintings of the Soul, 1992, Soka Baptism, 1993, Hearts and Diamond 1999, Reparation 2006, and Plaisance 2017. Eddie Grant, a Guyanese born superstar, a legend, an icon, a pioneer. When I go to Guyana and visit my friend Raymond Astin, popularly known as Rasco. I would sit back in Plaisance. These are the streets that the great legendary icon, Eddie Grant, used to walk as a young boy. And I can feel the ambiance of Guyana, the pepper pot, the greatness of the Guyanese people. Every time I go to Guyana, I feel welcome, I feel wanted, and I am treated royally. I love Guyana. Guyana is like my second home. Anytime I feel a little bit down, I just call up my friend Raymond Austin, 
call up my friend Ira Collins and they would get me tickets and I would jump on the flight and fly to Guyana. I just want to say thank you so much, Eddie Grant. Thank you so much for bringing us great, 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 great music. My all-time favorite is Give Me Hope, Joanna. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The legend, the icon, the living, Mr. Eddie Grant. And remember, I told you, this is in tribute and remembering my friends Raymond Astins and Ira Collins' mother, Norma Constance Reed Astin Collins. Sleep well, Mama. We'll always miss you. We'll never, ever forget you. Thank you so much for listening, ladies and gentlemen. Please like and share this video. And if you have not yet, subscribe to my channel. Now is the time to do so. Thank you so much.